read up to verses 12. Isaiah chapter 58, and we start our reading from verses 8. The word of God reads, Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thy health shall spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. Then shalt thou call, and the Lord shall answer. Thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here I am. If thou shalt take away from the midst of thee the yoke, the putting forth of the finger and speaking vanity, verse 10, and if thou shalt draw out thy soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall thy light rise in obsessory and day and thy darkness be as the noonday and the Lord shall guide you continually and satisfy your soul in drought and make fat your bones and thou shall be like a well watered garden and like a spring of water whose water fail not and they shall and they that shall be with you shall build the old waste places Thou shalt raise up the foundations of, thy, of, of many generations, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the bridge, the restorer of the parts of the dwelling in. The repairer of parts to dwell in. The repairer of the parts to dwell in. Let's pray. Dear and heavenly Father, this is a fasting that, Lord, you have always delighted into. Father, we want to thank you for the life of a Christian. A life of a believer is a life that full of pleasing you. And we pray that God speak to all of us that we may have the keys in the way of running throughout this year, 2021. We thank you that, yes, it has come. With good and the bad. And the good will make us celebrate. The bad will turn into our testimonies as well. We appreciate you God. Anoint my lips of clay. That as I speak this word. Let it come forth with power and direction. In Jesus mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. 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 Quickly, I want to speak to you on the message I've entitled Seven Things That Will Bring Your Good Morning and Restore All. Seven Things. If you want, you can say seven keys. That will bring good morning and restore all. Hallelujah. Prophet Isaiah is speaking to the children of Israel. Just as it is in the days of today, Prophet Emmanuel is speaking to all of you that are here. And all of you that are watching us all over the world, the Lord is speaking to you. And Prophet Isaiah, he opens by saying that then thy light shall break forth as a morning. Your light shall break forth as the morning. Why the morning? Because the Bible says, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And why morning? Is because it is very easy to pray in the morning. And that's why we are saying, good morning. Because we can rise in the morning and pray and be able to restore everything that the cankerworms and the caterpillars have eaten away from our lives. And quickly bring out number one that so much flows in the morning, it is the spiritual life. The key number one that to bring the good morning and restore all, it is when you build your spiritual life. So, number one, it is to build your spiritual life. Tell me about build your spiritual life. Tell me about build your spiritual life. Happened when everything was okay. 
Hallelujah. When our spiritual lives are not well built, we will begin to stagger in many things. But when our spiritual lives are well, well built, then we shall begin to see ourselves progressing from one level of glory to another level of glory. Hallelujah. The first attack that believers will ever face, it is in their spiritual lives. Once a spiritual life is under attack, then everything is gone. Please, can you take it back the way it was? Thank you. Hallelujah. Once our spiritual lives are under attack, then everything in our lives will not make shape. That is the reason why you must guard your spiritual life jealously. And we are seeing prophet Isaiah, he is speaking to the children of Israel, and he's saying, then shall your light break forth as the morning. As the morning. When they do what? When their spiritual lives are rich. The first part that you and me must be very rich is a spiritual life. And we need to be very, very extremely sensitive. When this part is disturbed, then everything about us is gone in water. Hallelujah. You can never be sensitive to anything when your spiritual life is gone. Jesus was so sensitive to his spiritual life. That is the reason why when they brought this woman that committed adultery and they came with all kinds of stones and they wanted to stone this woman sensitively spiritually he said, if there is anyone among you who has never done this, let them be the first one to stone at this woman. They all dropped their stones and left that woman. And Jesus said, go, never sin again. Hallelujah. He was so sensitive when it came to the spiritual life. This year, you need to be sensitive spiritually. It is not everything that you must embrace. It is not everywhere where you must go. You need to be sensitive spiritually. Is God permitting me to go with my friend to that place? Is God permitting me to do this? I will not be there. You will be there with God. If you are sensitive in the spirit. So make sure your spiritual life is making shape. Hallelujah. God is good. And he went on and said, And thy health shall spring forth speedily. And thy righteousness shall go before you. And the glory of the Lord shall be your reward. The second key that we enable to have good morning and restore all. It is when we begin to develop our mental capacities. How do we, how do we develop our mental capacity? It is by knowing the word of God. God will never bless a destroyer. God will always bless a builder. This part is a part that has made most of Christians, most of you here, to pray with a less passion. To, less, to pray with less drive. Because you are looking at people you took care of. You took them to school. You picked them when they were in grade 5. When they were grade 2. When they were in grade 6. When they were in grade 8. And you took them to school. Today, they are working today they have good positions and they are just by passing your home like that they are driving instead of you using your money to buy the vehicle you use that money to sponsor them to school and they are not remembering you and you are walking with pain in your heart the word of God calls for us to 
love such. To love them. Love them. Love them. And move forward. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So receive the capacity to love. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now, now, because believers are, in, uh, you know, when we talk about love, they, they, they only see it from one angle. Hear this. When people do something bad to you, the Bible commands you to forgive them. But the Bible does not say you should have the loss of memory. You should always know and be careful at that point which they had to rise against you. That's why Jesus Christ cannot come back and walk and be with us the way he was walking. He learned it from that point. That if I can walk with them again, this time they will make sure that they cut my leg on his own, the other leg on his own, the other hand on his own. But he said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. But he cannot come and walk with us the way as we are walking, the way he was walking. Hallelujah. When Jesus came back to life, and they wanted, the disciples wanted to touch him there, and the, those mothers went there, he said, mm -mm, this is not the time for you. He stopped them. And he again appeared to the disciples, number two. And then he said, Thomas, I can see you are doubting too much. Push your finger inside there. Are you getting me? So, what I'm trying to say is, when people injure you, forgive them. But always, you should know that at that point where they strike you from, you should never be ignorant of that part. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. When, when Jesus went to Mount Precept and uh, they, they, they followed him and they surrounded him there, they got the stones to stone him. And the Bible says it was on the hill and it's for sure. Mount Precept is on the hill. And you see down there when you are in Israel, and when you look downwards, you see where they refine water. This water, waste water, which you waste you. They recycle the water from there, from Mount Precept. Jesus turned there and the Bible said they could not see him anymore. He never went back to Mount Precept. He knew that if I'm to go back there, they'll push me and they'll kill me. So I want you to be still be careful. Hallelujah. God is good. Forgive your friends who did bad things to you. Hallelujah. The fourth thing that we must work on, let's review our health, our bodies. This year, children of God, don't eat anyhow. You must have discipline as a child of God. Jesus was so disciplined. He was not eating anything anyhow. He knew how to manage your body. Look at me. You think there is another life that is waiting for you in this same body? In this same body? No. The next life is heaven. But here on earth, this is the only life. And you are remaining with those years you are remaining with. And then you want to carry your body carelessly. Don't you know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit? Look at believers here. The other side of failing to manage your body very well. 110 days prayer and fasting. That's rubbish. 300 days prayer and fasting that's useless and nonsense 
the body you are carrying requires some minerals requires some fluids you should not overdo things oh you are quiet now you should not overdo what? things reduce your body but let it remain it is there have the body but let it not overtake 110 120 kg Your number ni ngombe 150 kg And then you an elderly person you are your, your weight is equal to your last born granddaughter As old as you are you are weighing 40 kg. 32 kg. God is good. 32 kg. God is good. Even promise can refuse. This one is not good. <laughs> so see how you can maintain your body. Because God must use your body. He needs your body for him to achieve what he must achieve. If we do the mic like this, he's using this body. So I must take care of this body very well. Are you getting me? Yes. When you, I see it is going beyond the measure, I say, hey, come back. Come back, come back, come back. I see it. I see that now I'm looking like somebody who is broke. I say, hey, my body, hey, come out. He comes out. Yeah. Hallelujah. So you, you maintain the kind of a body. That's health. Hallelujah. Renew your health. Go and check. How was my eating habit in 2020? And thank God for COVID-19. For those of you who could not have enough food. Praise God. Because if you had shall thou call. And the Lord shall answer. Thou shall cry. And he shall say. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. Children of God. Children of God. Review your kingdom service. Your kingdom service through prayer. Your kingdom service reviewed through prayer. This point is very important. Sit down and check the level of your prayer life. Check. It is the level of your prayer life that determines how committed you are in the house of the Lord. You can never be committed to the things of God if you are not prayerful. It's a lie and a big lie. The people you see are committed to church, are committed to things in the house of God, just know they have some level of prayer. I don't know why. I know I have, I have been faithful in, in the vineyard of the Lord. I don't know why God has not blessed me. You are lying. You have not been faithful. Because if you are faithful, he has said, he, whoever that is faithful in little, he will be given much. Because he will be faithful even in much. We are dealing with money here. So the system of the world is for us to chase after money. Believers who are here and servants of God who are here, you have ended up going to work for people who don't even know Jesus very well. You have ended up bowing down yourself to people who don't even have the anointing that you have. That's what the system of money how, that's how the system of the world operates. It makes an elderly person to bow to a small girl like this. Ah. It makes you to sink to such a level. 
<laughs> What's a secret when it comes to money? When God gives you money in the hands, He expects you to plant. When you plant money in the work of God, in the project of God, God will finance you. He will give you the grant. He will give you the sponsorship of finances to finish up your projects. Plant in the project of God. Father, your people are here. You know their heart desires. You know who they are. And you know how things have stopped moving. But today, they have decided to renew the altar of their seed. To renew. They are here to renew, oh God. They are portion of harvest. God, remember them. Come through and sudden. Surprise them. Shock them. Show them you are God. Beyond the measure. Those who are trusting God. For financial breakthrough. Where will money come from for their. School fees of their children. God come through. Jesus. God. You are the husband to every widow. And the father to the fatherless. Silver and gold belongs to you. Come through, oh God. Surprise them. Surprise us. Even this year. That when others are complaining for us, we shall see your hand. When others do not know the direction to take, you will guide us. We shall be well watered gardens. You shall supply into our gardens. God come through. Let every businessman, every businesswoman here come through. I thank you, my father. I honor you. I lift your name. Blessed be your holy name. Yes, no one like me. Hear this. The Lord took me to the mountain in the night to cry for your breakfast. And the battle was so tense. Some of you your blessings have already been released. But there is this spirit that is so angry. And I saw the demon getting so angry as to why. Then I knew that the power of darkness is defeated over your projects, over your businesses. Evangelist charity. God is good. So don't know where manual. I have reached at a point where I'll tell you that this is where I can reach. That's why that anointing miracle water, that one you have in the bottle. I don't know when I will go back to Sinai. But I am praying that children of Emmanuel you will not relax in ensuring that you acquire that water. And you should have it at least even in stock in your house. Because I don't know. God is good. When we come to meet the coming week, I will teach you on how you can have friends 
that will push you to your destiny and how you can identify friends who are friends but they are pushing you down and sometimes you may not know why you are at the same level you try to do everything but you are just at the level you cannot see who is holding you because the face of your friend will appear at this side and they are looking to be very good and you don't know they are the ones at the back so the coming Sunday by the grace of the Lord this is what I want to dwell on so much to show you the secrets of friendship I am not going to handle any other thing apart from that if somebody comes to say he wants to be your business partner he wants to be a destiny helper he wants to be this and how you can know how to deal with people when they come to you and how you cannot miss destiny helper like our son Gabriel quickly realize this is my destiny helper Hallelujah. and if you heard from his testimony he kept on telling you that daddy called me that they caught me that they caught me I'm sure you hate that but this I will be revealing it and especially children of Emmanuel do not miss this one because as a year has just begun God is now releasing people that must push you forward and it is you to know who is this one is you to identify some of them you might have already pushed them away but on this, uh, uh, this Sunday that is coming, you will know. When somebody comes, you will know this one, yes, it's my destiny helper. This one is my enemy. And you will know how to deal with them as well. Do not leave your children at home because your children are vulnerable sometimes. They can bring a wrong person in your home. And that person destroys everything again begins to steal teaches your children how to steal and they rubbish the whole entire home so oh, look at this one it's better you are not dead than to walk empty you are you are you are in you are on earth here but you are not of earth you are of this world you are in this world but you are not of this world you are in this world but you are not of this world meaning you meet people and how do you deal with them when you go to hospital how do you know that this is a person you must talk to this is the one that has the favor of you that will only come on Sunday and when you go for interviews how can you out of three people five people who you find there how can you know that this is the one that is a key so you don't waste time on these others God is good